What is up, everybody? Oh, right here. And we are checking out a brand new game. It is in prologue form. So basically sort of an extended demo, I guess. Uh, but it's called Hollow Survivors. It is an action roguelike game. I have not played this game yet. I saw it top the charts on Steam database and wanted to give it a shot. So let's jump in and play. All right. <clears throat> so right off the gate, attack. OK. So it's odd because it is called a survivor game, uh, but it's not, you know, usually games with the survivor like vampire survivors. Um, oh, did I just fall off the edge? You know, usually they play as survivor type games, but this one's not. Uh, OK, so oh, did I just dodge that? That counts as a dodge. But this is not a survivor game. This is this is an action roguelike. OK, so we have our spells. We have our regular attacks. We have a dash. Okay, so that's gonna give us a bridge, right? Pick up. Oh, sweet. Okay, here's the roguelite part to it. Okay, so we can get any damage you deal has a chance to be critical. After you take damage, your enemy is struck by lightning. Or we can spells inflict curse that damage the enemy after two seconds delay. Let's do the crit chance. Okay, so I can't go across there apparently. Oh, look at this. I like that. Okay, so are we actually playing the game now? So that was the little tutorial stage, obviously. We have unlimited dashes. No. Man, there's too many of them. We, I like the pixelated look to the game. I like the character design. I think that looks pretty sweet. Why do these look like, man, these make it look like they're health drops. These, what what are supposed to be, you know, like uh, fireflies or something. <laughs> they make them look like health drops. Okay, where do we go? Do we have a map or anything? Oh, the arrow. Oh, I have an arrow pointing where to go. Okay. I wonder how big this world is. Or are we just playing in one big arena? OK, we are. We're just playing in one big arena. So that's what this is. And then we ascend. I like how that how that pops up like that. That's a cool little that's a cool little touch. Man, we are. I need more range on this melee attack. I'll be curious to see. I always like seeing what happens in these games when you die. Because what's going to happen? Are we going to go to a home base? Uh, is there going to be more weapons to unlock? Is there going to be a new character? Is there going to be different spells? I'm always interested to see that kind of stuff. Oh, come on. That's not fair. He wasn't even there yet. This is kind of pretty tough already. put a lot of enemies on the screen. Gameplay is good, though. Okay, we definitely need to get some heals. Uh, gain random amounts of soul essence, silk, and hearts. Spell explodes shortly after the first contact, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Attack reflects projectiles. Ugh, I feel like I have to take this one, right? The soul essence is probably my meta upgrades, and then hearts, right? Man, that wasn't a lot of hearts. <laughs> that barely got me any heals. I don't think there's any, there's nothing really in here to break, huh? There's no urns or anything. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like I can break any of these to try to get gold or hearts or anything. Great, now we got spikes on the ground.
Yeah, there's gotta be there's gotta be different weapon types and all that, right? The gameplay is good though, it does feel tight. That's what you need. You need you need good gameplay in, um, in these type of action games where you're dodging all the time and shooting and melee attacks. Oh, shoot. See, I can't be too aggressive because I, I keep hitting, I keep getting collision damage. Okay, so what, I don't know what these are. Do I only have an option? Let's do this one because this one kind of looks like health. Uh, Divine Fury. Attacks deal more damage and pushes back enemies. Protective Soul absorbs one hit and regenerates after passing four fours. Or spells deal... Let's do the spells deal more damage. Or, or is this a legendary? It, it's hard to tell. The rarities. Or are they just based on what type of spell they are? I don't know. Okay, well, we get both. Oh, shoot. Already our first boss fight, huh? Oh, I... For some reason, I was thinking I could kind of stagger them to stop them from charging. I'm not a huge fan of moving forward when I attack. Especially if there's going to be collision damage. That does make it a little difficult. It does make me have to be a lot more reserved in my attacks. Man, I wish it would lock on. I wonder if there's a way to lock on, too. Oh, no way. Dang it. Okay, so we made it to four fours. 90 monsters killed. Uh, we only had one spell. Let's descend and see what happens. Yeah, see this? Oh, this is it. This is what I wanted to see. <laughs> the Sanctuary. New max floor reached. Okay. Let's go around and explore. We have a shop. A new hunter, huh? Uh, yeah. Let me... The times are weird. Uh, okay. So here's the meta progression stuff. Let's do... Increases max health 0.5 per rank. So it's going to give me half a heart. And then this one's going to restore health upon taking... Oh, that gives me a free revive. Uh, an extra dash, increases movement speed, spell damage, and weapon damage. Okay, let's do, let's do the extra heart, and then let's do the revive. Why is that on Arcane Fury? Okay, then let's do the Soul Spirit. Restore 50% health upon taking lethal damage. That's actually pretty cheap for a revive. Okay, then let's do weapon damage and Arcane Fury. Okay, so we'll buy those two. So now we got a little bit more meta progress. I'm afraid that's all I've got for this one. If you rebuild the distillery, though, I might be able to brew up some more potions. Oh, cool, of this kind. Okay, let's see what else there is. There's got to be some more stuff around here. What are you? Oh, we can build stuff? Not enough resources. Oh, sweet. So we can build stuff. Let's talk to you. Oh, no, you don't tell me anything. Oh, I just fell off the edge. Okay, you're probably... Oh, this is a shop. Okay, so purple cloak, green cloak. Uh, so these are just aesthetics. Or cosmetics. Kind of the same thing. Um, It is weird how it, it kind of messes up the, the icon a little bit. See, it shows, see how it shows two of them? <laughs> it shows two highlights now. And then if I go up to it, it, it gets rid of it. See? This... 
not a huge deal, but it is something. Okay, so we can customize our character a little bit. I guess we won't really spend our money on that. I want to see if there's classes or... It, it doesn't look like there's going to be extra characters probably, but... It, okay, this maybe looks like the weapon place. We got a forge and an anvil. Then what else is there? There's you. Let's talk to you. Hey, haven't seen you before. You're a hunter? Same as my dad. I'm waiting here for him. You should be back any day. Yeah. Oh, sorry, kid. I hate to break it to you. Okay, then we can build stuff here. So not enough resources. So what do we need to do? I wonder if we need to kill the boss to get those resources. Let's go do another run. I really want to see if we can get extra weapons. That's what I want to see the most here. Okay, so we get a... Right off the get, we get a new spell or something. Dash causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby enemies. Let's do that. Oh, man. See, I hate the, I hate the collision detection here. I mean, that is like most games, but the range on this weapon is just so bad. And then you move forward when you attack, which is pretty annoying. Is my dash doing lightning? It's not... Is my dash... Don't I have... Hold up. How do I... I want to see my abilities. I don't know if I can. Let's get our gold. Um... Is there really no way to see our abilities? I don't think there is. I don't think any... I don't think any button lets me see my abilities. Hmm. Because the dash doesn't seem to be... I thought the dash was going to do a lightning strike on nearby enemies. Oh, it, it is. Okay, it, it does. It does. I see it now. I thought it was going to come out of me. That's actually pretty good. Right? 10 damage each? Considering that does 15. Might as well let's just keep dashing around enemies now. We're just trying to fight them. The aiming needs to be a little bit better with... I'm playing with controller. Let's see if there's a... Oh, okay, that does it. That's how I see my stuff. Okay. It, it blends in. <laughs> that blends in. It blends in. That's kind of a weird way to see what spells you have. Um. No, okay. There's no... The lock-on... If you're playing with a controller, it needs to have a slightly better lock-on. Oh, spikes. Dang, why did they all die right there? 777 seven, seven on everybody? All right, uh, adrenaline rush. When you have one HP left, you deal more... What? When you have one... Oh, one... I keep thinking that we have... Okay, when we have one heart left... Um... Attacks emit lightning, chain lightning when you damage an enemy. We can just go with a lightning build. Uh, damage you deal immediately after dashing has more chance to be critical. Let's do the chain lightning. The levels are a little bland. Um, you know? Holy cow, that guy has... Why are... Who are these guys? These guys have so much range. It's gonna blow up, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, the level the levels here kind of suck, huh? It's just uh it's just the same open area every time. There's no there's no real um obstacles or anything. That's not that's not very fun. I hope I hope they do change that. Spell does more damage, 125%. Attack is stronger with a chance to deal critical. Any damage you deal has a chance to be critical. Let's do the spell damage. Because, right, we're fighting in the same, basically the same arena every single time. Uh, that definitely needs to be a little bit more varied. Need some different environments, some different layouts. Seems like every time we ascend, we die too, huh? Okay, well, good luck here. We do have a revive, though. See, I keep, I'm, I swear I'm aiming in the right direction, but the attack doesn't really register where, <laughs> oh, that was kind of a BS hit. Weird, I wasn't moving forward there on those attacks. I would like to get through this boss, but I don't know if we're going to. I, I don't I don't like the attacking on this this weapon. Oh we beat him! With half a heart! Gold King defeated, let's go! Oh man, I did not think that was gonna happen. Attacks reflect projectiles. Uh spell inflicts curse that damages the enemies after two seconds. The damage you deal immediately after dashing has a chance to be critical. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. Okay, oh, this is the tooth. That's what we need for the meta progression. Oh, there's two of them. Awesome. Because I think I needed two of them, too, to make new buildings. Okay. I hope this doesn't kill me. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope it doesn't kill me if I fall off. Oh, yes. What is this? Oh, let's help him. By the gods, you've saved me. I thought I was done for. My gratitude is endless. Thank you. Okay, he's going to be the armorer, huh? I wonder if he's going to be the armorer. Man, is there, there, there better be a way to heal here, too, before this next... There's not. Wow. No heals between after boss fights. What the heck is that? That's cold. <laughs> right? That's cold to not give me a heal unless I missed it. That's it. Dang it. Oh, that was my revive. I forgot we had a revive. Oh, I totally forgot we had that revive. Awesome. Man, even going into the second world, though, the stage is the exact same. So even after we even after we kill the boss, you know, we're still playing in the same arena. I get it's just a prologue, too. You know, it's the the actual release the early access or full release of the game is probably hopefully going to be different but it is a little discerning that there's only the same environment over and over for these fights okay let's pick this up uh let's see 
Reward soul essence and silk rewards are worth more. What are silk rewards? Is that what we're picking? Is that the teeth? Um, after taking damage, you deal more damage for four seconds. After any damage you deal has a critical. Let's try this one. Just because I don't know what those are. Um, <laughs> and so it might be important to get more of those. Maybe that's just your XP gains. Yeah, man. <clears throat> I was I know I was aiming at it at the diagonal on that one and then it kind of just shoots straight. That's going to be the downfall of the controller. Maybe I just need to make sure I'm oh shoot. Maybe I just need to make sure I'm aiming it. See that that one was off too. It's okay. A lot of enemies this floor. I wonder why that is. I wonder what happens with that when I do an attack and I kill someone and then it kills everybody. I wonder what that is. Um, after taking damage, you have a chance to heal. So you heal some back. Uh, spell explodes shortly after. Spells explode shortly after the first contact dealing damage. Protective soul absorbs one hit and regenerates some. Um, let's do the heal. Okay, so we gotta be probably yep, I was about to say we're probably at another boss fight here soon. Okay, Chuma. Alright, well we don't have ooh. Well, we don't have our revive anymore. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> that was that was a quick death. Alright, let's uh let's descend back. Okay, let's see what we got going here now. Yeah, see we got a new character. Yeah, see, I called it. That guy was the, the blacksmith. Thank you for helping me back there. I wouldn't have made it without you. As a token of my gratitude, I promise to craft you the finest weapons. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. That is, if you rebuild the forge, of course. Oh, so of course I have to rebuild the forge. So that's the forge. Does this say what these other ones are? I mean, I'm going to do the forge. See, it doesn't say what these are. That one very specifically says it's a forge. This one doesn't say. This one doesn't say either. Okay, well, we're going to go build that forge because I want to see what other weapons are in this game. Oh my gosh, there's more. Dang it. <laughs> oh, so I'm not going to be able to unlock them yet. So there's a great axe, a scythe, and a bow. That's what I want. I want to get this bow, but I'm going to need... Three. Ah, that's a beautiful forge. As promised, I crafted you the weapons. Yeah, of course these are going to cost you. I never said I'm going to craft them for free. Yeah, thanks. Okay. <laughs> so we need to, we definitely need to unlock a little bit more. I'm curious to see what some of this other stuff is, though. That was just the shop. I, I want to see what this stuff is. Not enough resources. And what is this thing? This thing has... Oh. Hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I attacked that. I wasn't really sure what that was. Okay, well, let's upgrade some more stuff then. We have 106. Let's do... One extra dash, sure. And then let's go with... Extra heart. Okay, let's go do one. Let's go do one more run. 
Let's go see if we can get a couple more of those teeth and then maybe maybe I'll go offline and try to get the last tooth and we'll see if we can get the bow for another run. All right, let's see. Soul essence and silk rewards are worth more. Let's try that. I again, I don't know. I'm assuming I, that's got to be the meta progression stuff. It's right. It's got to be. There's definitely the game does lack again. Uh, I I can't I can't judge it too much. I can't judge it too much because it's just a prologue. But it does seem that it kind of lacks a little bit of build variety. You know, there's no. It doesn't seem that there's a lot of options here with the level ups yet. They're all pretty basic. There's nothing that really is going to give us these really cool, unique builds. But again, maybe that'll change. Maybe that'll change with the weapons or th things like that. I don't really know yet. That's again, that's why I said I can't be I can't be too critical because it is just it's not even early access. This is a demo. More movement speed actually wouldn't be that bad. I just kind of realized how slow I move. I do want to get that dash lightning again, though. That was that was a really good ability. That was the chain lightning. Those were both pretty good abilities. Because then I don't need to worry about being so close to the enemies. You can kind of attack them from a little bit further away. Okay, there's that dash again. Dash causes lightning bolts. Attack deals more damage. Um, I'm going to do this dash again. See, there's only so many. It seems that there's only maybe about, I don't know, 10. 10 different level up options here. 10 or 15. Oh. That chain lightning one. I really want to get that chain lightning one now. Jeez, how many hits are you going to take? Okay, let's see what do we got here. After you take damage, your enemy is struck by lightning. We can reflect projectiles. Let's do the curse. Okay, so we're back at the boss again. Oh, dang it. Thought I dashed out of there in time. Yeah, that curse is pretty good. So it'll do 20 extra damage after after a few seconds.
And he's got to be almost dead. There we go. That was much better. That was pretty good. All right, let's pick up our money, our level up. Um, Attack inflicts curse. Oh, wow, this one does 50 damage now? Why is that so much? Attack inflicts curse that damages the enemy after two second delay for 50 damage. These are all really good. Attack is stronger with a chance to deal critical damage. But 50, 50 damage is a lot. But the attack damage and crit chance, that's a lot too. Let's do that one. Okay, then we got our two teeth. So I need three teeth to unlock the bow. Yeah, I, I do wish the environments were, were a little bit more varied here. That's the that's own that's the only thing. Oh, what killed me? Was there a little exploder there? And maybe a little bit more help with the lock on. Those are really I think those are really only my my two complaints. Other than that, I think the game's pretty solid. The gameplay is nice. Oh yeah, they need to add a little bit more more variety in the the abilities and stuff like that, but that'll come. Sweet. Oh, there's that chain lightning. Oh, so this tells us this is legendary. Okay, I didn't even, I don't even know why I didn't see that. Legendary, you can dash more. Yeah, let's do the chain lightning. That chain lightning is so good. <laughs> it scales, or not scales, but it travels so far. And it hits so many enemies. After you take damage, you deal more damage for four seconds. We can reflect the projectiles, or we can do more crit chance after dashing. Let's do... Let's do the, re the projectile. We'll see how that works. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out how this boss works yet. Jeez. Oh, there's the spikes. Okay. The spikes are a little hard to read. You can tell when he's going to do it, but it is hard to... Man, I just ate so much damage there. This guy is a lot harder than the first boss. The radius on that fire attack is huge. Oh, I dashed, dang it. All right, seven floors. I mean, we're getting a little bit close. Oh, I, did I get four? How did I get four teeth that time? It shows I got four. No, see, no, I only have two. That, okay. 
So I just earned two, but I must have had four total. So I can unlock the Great Axe, but we're going to save up for the bow because I want to see what a long-range weapon is going to do. Then we'll eventually save up for these. All right, everybody. Well, that is going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Hollow Survivors, the prologue. You can go download it now. Totally free. Feel free to check it out. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.